When I visited my first coal mine in 2016, the technology on site was staggering. Enormous vehicles and integrated systems to more efficiently mine for resources. When you look around at the environmental management, it tells a different story. They spend billions of dollars on ecosystem restoration, and this is what it looks like. The contrast couldn't be more stark. On one side, you have heavily engineered systems with automated control centers, and on the other, you have manual systems with analog backends. Today, we face one of the great challenges of our time, the future sustainability of Earth. Now, we can all see the carbon levels, the corals bleaching, and people marching in the street with an urgent call against climate change and the extinction of species. And the fact is, we're better at destroying our ecosystems than we are at restoring them. And this has led to two billion hectares of degraded land over time. And we now have a 5x challenge to restore that land. Now, the reason we're so slow is not just a hardware problem, it's an end-to-end -end lack of scalability. The ecosystem restoration market is set to grow by 700% in the next 10 years, but the tools to service the market and the demand have not been developed yet. Now, the challenges are threefold. First is scale, both large coverage, but also fine detail over that same area. And this is in part due to the second challenge, which is lack of access to data. And the third challenge is lack of physical access to these sites. Our solution integrates intelligence with automation to address these exact challenges. We provide detailed data collection, analytics, and insights to supercharge environmental monitoring. We combine this intelligence with our automated planting system to address the critical needs of access, safety, and speed. We are bringing environmental management into the digital age. Our customers can interrogate their land at the touch of a button. The detailed analytics that we provide generate quantitative metrics that they can add to their qualitative reports. And our machine learning algorithms get more and more accurate with every terabyte that's added. Now, as one of our engineers said the other day, we can't just sit in a room and code at each other to solve all the world's problems. We have to act in the real world. Our Sky Tractor is designed for challenging environments. It disperses native seeds over hectares at a time. It's all automated, all geotagged, and all integrated into our digital monitoring platform. So now that we live in a world where drones plant trees, the situation looks very different. We have an enormous opportunity. Mining accounts for 300 million hectares of managed land globally, and the total addressable market for mining restoration is $3.2 billion. And the land under management for our customers has doubled in the last 10 years. And this is a recurring revenue. Mines have obligations throughout their operational mining, but also throughout closure, meaning an annual recurring revenue for 50 years for each mine. Now, we're working with some of the largest mining companies in the world. We're currently working for Glencore, BHP, and Yancor. And not only are we speaking with the top mining companies, we're also speaking with the top oil and gas companies who face similar challenges. Now, our customers are committed to improving biodiversity and sustainability of their land. Some of our customers who've been working in this space for 20 years say things like, what you're building is shit hot. And they tell me that the services we're providing are completely changing the way that they think about environmental management from beginning to end. Now, over the last six months, our pipeline has increased by 3x, our planting capacity has increased 5x, and we've had a 25 times increase in our monitoring capacity. And here, we have the first ever photo of a tree planted by drone. Now, our, our company is global native, and our trajectory is ambitious. And to execute on this, we're going to be raising our Series A at the end of this year. So today, we get to make a decision. Are we going to turn the tide 
on ecosystem restoration, or are we going to let the decline continue? We get to decide to regreen our Earth, and now we have the power to do it. My name is Susan Graham. I'm the CEO of Biocarbon Engineering, and I invite you to join us to be the change that everyone is calling for.